ตั้งอันเซเลโซไชนีสเอมบซีลาจูจูอันเดเลกูเรชาซูอันเซฟาสเรชาเตคอนเซซุมเตเดชาอันเซดังบอดังบุเลชชูอินดาดามเกปอค
Representatives took an oath to serve the Tibetan community and formed the beginnings of what is now known as the Central Tibetan Administration. But today also marks a very special occasion of Pao Pemakungala finally returning back to Toronto after running all the way from Ottawa to Toronto to call on our Canadian government to support the issue of Tibet and to raise awareness. Thank you everyone for coming today. traditional territory of many nations, including, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabe, the Chippewa, the Hod Eight days, around 50 kilometers each day. All his life. For the Tibetan cause, for all of the Tibetans that are here, all around the world, and also the ones in Tibet. He has three demands, as we all know. One is to support the Sino-Tibet dialogue. Secondly, the return of His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, to Tibet. And thirdly, as you know, almost 400 kilometers. And I hope that the Chinese government here today is listening to us. And as you can see around us, all of us, most of us, are young, energetic. The issue of Tibet is still going to be alive for years and years until it's resolved. And this is a clear message that we... we made history, ladies and gentlemen. This is history. In the Canadian Tibetan history, this has never happened. So today, once again, you know, I don't want to say a lot because I know we have another little ceremony happening in Parkdale where we'll have more Tibetans gather. And once again, everyone, please join me in congratulating and bringing a hero, a brave hero back to Toronto. And I would like to thank the few Dawa Nubla, uh, and the other Dawala on bicycle, and the whole team who have actually, you know, supported Pemakungala all along the way, the eight days, and all of the Tsopas, you know, that actually were together helping with um, all the support that was provided all along the way. <laughs>
like to call upon a member of provincial for coming today in front of the Chinese consulate to give a very warm welcome, a heroic welcome to Pema Kungola. I want to thank the entire team that has supported Pema Kungola in this marathon for Tibet. I want to thank all the organizations that have supported this marathon. And I want to thank his family, his wife and children, who have also supported his cause. And of course, my deepest, deepest gratitude goes to Pema Kundala himself for sacrificing his health, his time, and really demonstrating the Tibetan spirit. And it is so fitting that he has come back to in a democratic country to raise the issue of Tibet, to make the demands for the return of His Holiness to Dalai Lama uh, to Tibet, for the Sino-Tibetan dialogue, and for the reciprocal access to Tibet, which are the demands and the dreams of the Tibetan people in Tibet. And I would like to end by offering my thanks with a kata to you and the entire team.